Chintamani Nagasa Ramachandra Rao FRS, also known as C. N. R. Rao born the 30th of June 1934, is an Indian chemist who has worked mainly in solid state and structural chemistry. He currently serves as the head of the Scientific Advisory Council to the Prime Minister of India. Rao has honorary doctorates from 60 universities from around the world, and has authored around 1,600 research publications and 51 books. On 16 November 2013, the Government of India announced his selection for Bharat Ratna, the highest civilian award in India, making him the third scientist after C. V. Raman and A. P. J. Abdul Kalam to receive the award. He was conferred the award on 4 February 2014 by President Pranab Mukherjee in a special ceremony in the Durbar Hall of the Rashtrapati Bhavan. <laughs> Early life and education CNR. Rao was born in Bangalore to Hanumantha Nagasa Rao and Nagama Nagasa Rao. He was an only child, and his learned parents made an academic environment. He was well versed in Hindu literature from his mother and in English from his father at an early age. He did not attend elementary school but was home tutored by his mother, who was particularly skilled in arithmetic and Hindu literature. He entered middle school in 1940, at age six. Although he was the youngest in his class, he used to tutor his classmates in mathematics and English. He passed lower secondary examination class 7 in first class in 1944. He was 10 years old, and his father rewarded him with four annas 25 paisa. He attended Acharya Patishala High School in Basavanagudi, which made a lasting influence on his interest in chemistry. His father enrolled him to a Kannada medium course to encourage his mother tongue, but at home used English for all conversation. He completed secondary school leaving certificate in first class in 1947. He studied BSc at Central College, Bangalore. Here he developed his communication skills in English and also learned Sanskrit. He obtained his bachelor's degree from Mysore University in 1951, in first class, and only at the age of 17. He initially thought of joining Indian Institute of Science IISC for a diploma or a postgraduate degree in chemical engineering, but a teacher persuaded him to attend Banaras Hindu University. He obtained a master's in chemistry from BHU two years later. In 1953 he was granted a scholarship for PhD in IIT Kharagpur. But four foreign universities, MIT, Penn State, Columbia and Purdue also offered him financial support. He chose Purdue. His first research paper was published in the Agra University Journal of Research in 1954. He completed Ph.D. in 1958, only after two years and nine months, at age 24. Topic. Profession Rao is one of the world's foremost solid-state and materials chemists. He has contributed to the development of the field over five decades. His work on transition metal oxides has led to basic understanding of novel phenomena and the relationship between materials properties and the structural chemistry of these materials. Rao was one of the earliest to synthesize two-dimensional oxide materials such as La 2 copper 8 oxide. His work has led to a systematic study of compositionally controlled metal insulator transitions. Such studies have had a profound impact in application fields such as colossal magneto resistance and high temperature superconductivity. Oxide semiconductors have unusual promise. He has made immense contributions to nanomaterials over the last two decades, besides his work on hybrid materials. After completion of his graduate studies Rao returned to Bangalore in 1959 to take up a lecturing position, joining IISC and embarking on an independent research program. From 1963 to 1976 Rao accepted a permanent position in the Department of Chemistry at the Indian Institute of Technology Kanpur, during which time he was elected as a Fellow of the Indian Academy of Sciences in 1964. He returned to IISC in 1976 to establish a solid state and structural chemistry unit, and became director of the IISC from 1984 to 1994. At various points in his career Rao has taken appointments as a visiting professor at Purdue University, the University of Oxford, the University of Cambridge and University of California, Santa Barbara. 
He was the Jawaharlal Nehru Professor at the University of Cambridge and Professorial Fellow at the King's College, Cambridge during 1983–1984. Rao is currently the National Research Professor, Linus Pauling Research Professor and Honorary President of Jawaharlal Nehru Centre for Advanced Scientific Research, Bangalore which he founded in 1989. He was appointed Chair of the Scientific Advisory Council to the Indian Prime Minister in January 2005, a position which he had occupied earlier during 1985–89. He is also the Director of the International Centre for Materials Science and serves on the board of the Science Initiative Group. He shares co-authorship of around 1,500 research papers and has co-authored and edited 45 books. Awards and recognition Scientific awards DSC from Mysore University in 1961 Marlow Medal by the Faraday Society of England in 1967 Shanti Swaroop Bhatnagar Prize for Science and Technology in Chemical Science in 1968 Yetanapali Medal and Prize in 1973 C. V. Raman Award in Physical Science by the University Grants Commission of India in 1975 S. N. Bose Medal by the Indian National Science Academy in 1980 Royal Society of Chemistry London Medal in 1981 Member of many of the world's scientific associations, including the National Academy of Sciences, American Academy of Arts and Sciences, the Royal Society London, 1982, Royal Society of Canada, French Academy, Japanese Academy, Serbian Academy of Sciences and Arts and Polish Academy of Sciences, Czechoslovak Academy of Sciences, Serbian Academy of Sciences, Slovenian Academy of Sciences, Brazilian Academy of Sciences, Spanish Royal Academy of Sciences, National Academy of Sciences of Korea, African Academy of Sciences, and the American Philosophical Society. He is also member of the Pontifical Academy and foreign member of Academia Europea. Founding member of the World Cultural Council in 1981. Honorary doctorates from several universities including Bordeaux, Caen, Colorado, Khartoum, Liverpool, Northwestern, Novosibirsk, Oxford, Purdue, Stellenbosch, Université Joseph Fourier, Wales, Wrocław, Notre Dame, Uppsala, Alighur Muslim University, Anna, AP, Benares, Bengal Engineering, Bangalore, Burdwan, Bundelkhand, Delhi, Hyderabad, Ignau, IIT Bombay, Karagpur, Delhi, Patna, JNTU, Kalyani, Karnataka, Kolkata, Kuvampu, Lucknow, Mangalore, Manipur, Mysore, Asmania, Punjab, Roorkee, Sikkim Manipal, SRM, Tumkur, Sri Venkateswara, Vidyasagar, Amity University, Gurgaon and Visveshwaraya Technological University. Hevrovsky Gold Medal of the Czechoslovak Academy of Sciences in 1989 Mignath Saha Medal of the Indian National Science Academy in 1990 Einstein Gold Medal of UNESCO in 1996 Centenary Medal of the Royal Society of Chemistry, London in 2000 Hughes Medal by the Royal Society in 2000 Doctor of Science from University of Calcutta in 2004 Somia Award of the International Union of Materials Research in 2004 India Science Award in 2004 Dan David Prize from Tel Aviv University in 2005 shared with George Whitesides and Robert Langer Foreign Fellow of Bangladesh Academy of Sciences Abdus Salam Medal by the World Academy of Sciences in 2008 Nikkei Asia Prize for Science, Technology and Innovation, by Nihon Keizai Shimbun, Inc., Japan in 2008 Khwarezmi International Award 2008 for Innovation along with Ajayan Vinu Royal Medal by the Royal Society in 2009 August Wilhelm von Hoffmann Medal by the German Chemical Society in 2010. Ernesto Illy Trieste Science Prize for Materials Research in 2011 2012 Award for International Scientific Cooperation from the Chinese Academy of Sciences in 2013 Elected Honorary Foreign Member of Chinese Academy of Sciences in 2013 Distinguished Academician Award from IIT Patna in 2013 
Platinum Medal from Indian Association of Nanoscience and Nanotechnology, August 2018. Topic: Indian Governmental Honors. Padma Shri in 1974. Padma Vibhushan in 1985. Karnataka Ratna by the Karnataka State Government in 2001. Bharat Ratna in 2014. Topic: Foreign Honors. Great Cross of the National Order of Scientific Merit from the President of Brazil in 2002. Chevalier de la Légion d'Honneur, Knight of the Legion of Honor, France, in 2005. Order of Friendship by the President of Russia in 2009. Order of the Rising Sun, Gold and Silver Star of Japan in 2015. Topic: Personal Life. Rao is married to Indomati Rao in 1960. They have two children, Sanjay and Suchitra. His son Sanjay Rao is engaged in popularizing science in Bangalore schools. His daughter Suchitra is married to K.M. Ganesh, the director of the Indian Institute of Science Education and Research at Pune, Maharashtra. Rao is quite technophobic. He removed computers from his tables and never checks his email by himself. He also said that he uses the mobile phone only to talk to his wife. Topic: Controversies. Professor Rao, FRS, had been subject of a single allegation due to negligence of two students, Dr. Basant Chitara and Dr. Leela Srinivas. Their names were discussed in the parliament, but they were still given doctoral degrees by University of Grants Commission UGC, India for the bravery accorded for spoiling one of Independence India's jewel chemist. Now Dr. Leela Srinivas is assistant professor in Department of Chemistry, Indian Institute of Technology IIT, Mumbai or Bombay, which is shame to the country's administration and his recruitment at one of the top institute in India gave insight into worst academic recruitment practices without following proper norms and procedures. This issue had been discussed and proper apology had been reported in the same journal. Professor C. N. R. Rao had stated that he had no role with it as student mentioned his name in publication without his knowledge. Professor. Rao was given a Bharat Ratna by Government of India after the controversy created by some miscreant and he is active as a national research professor at Jawaharlal Nehru Centre for Advanced Scientific Research It is saddest moment for most of the science practice persons throughout the world. Professor C. N. R. Rao got bad reputation and destroyed his entire research achievements in a single day. But he was still given a Bharat Ratna by Government of India after the controversy created by some miscreant and he is active as a national research professor at Jawaharlal Nehru Centre for Advanced Scientific Research JNCASR. December 2011, an apology was issued to the journal Advanced Materials of Peer-Reviewed Publication, for a paper he co-authored with a junior research associate that contained text reproduced without attribution of other scientists' work, his not at a allegation or controversial. The PhD student was made as scapegoat and assumed the responsibility for the incident and issued a formal apology. 41. Professor Rao has no role in submitting the paper by Indian Institute of Science Person and Advanced Materials Journal didn't issue the clarification after the controversy. Rao claimed to not be complicit in the incident plagiarism to misalign scientists. Further controversy ensued when Rao and the other senior author of the paper, S. B. Kripaniti, attributed blame to the principal co author a PhD student at IISC for the error. These sentences were part of the introduction of the paper, which was written by our student, that neither of us, namely, the senior authors, Rao and Kripaniti, paid attention to. Particular public criticism was directed at Rao with relation his handling of the allegations, claiming senior co-authorship of a published work only to distance himself when problems arose. Rao was criticized by an Indian scientist for these incidents and passing the responsibility to the junior scientists, raising questions of his understanding and practice of modern research ethics. More allegations of instances of plagiarism in papers co authored Rao have been reported. On 17 November 2013, at a press conference following the announcement of his Bharat Ratna, he called the Indian politicians, idiots, 
that caused a national outrage. He said, why the hell have these idiots politicians given so little to us despite what we have done? For the money that the government has given us we scientists have done much more. Quote, in his defense Rao insisted that he merely talked about the idiotic way the politicians ignore investments for research funding in science. <laughs>